A closer look tonight on Eyewitness News. Between the report we did and these visual aids, we should definitely get an A. I hope so. I need it. Yeah, you really blew it with that last project. Hey, I still say it demonstrated the principle of sound wave transmission. You hit a rock with a stick. <laughs> it made a noise, didn't it? Can't believe it, Max. Three wallpaper stores and we can only agree on two swatches. I don't know. What is wrong with the walls the way they are now? I hate them. Two years ago, you loved them. Well, we've grown apart. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Melissa. Melissa. You gonna stay for dinner? No, I can't. Ah, oh, well, maybe some other time, huh? Well, come on, Max. Let's go upstairs and try and fall in love with one of these. I don't know if either one of these works for me. It's got to be something strong, you know, and yet not confrontational. Well, you know what? I'll tell you. Why don't we just paste up pictures of Dan Rather? Works for me. Parents. <laughs> Well, I'd better be going. Uh, hey, listen. I'm gonna go to the library tomorrow and try to get some pictures of the launch tower. If... Bye, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I recognize that look. Either you just got your first kiss, or... Your Nintendo blew up. <laughs> Melissa, she kissed me. You liked it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but when it happened, it was like I was somewhere else. Watching from above, kind of an out-of-body experience. Yeah. <laughs> it looked great. <laughs> I wish I could have been there. Simon. Your opportunity will come. You have just begun to tap the power of adorableness within you. Like generations of hollow men before you. The face is with you. It is? What happens now? Kissage, dude. Lots of it. Oh my god, Melissa's birthday party is Saturday. What if she expects kissage? I mean, I don't know how to start. What if I do it at the wrong time? Simon, I'll be so embarrassed. Remain calm. Try to think of a kiss as the docking of the module and the spacecraft, okay? Okay, yeah. This is Melissa. This is you. There'll be a lull in the conversation. You'll look at her. She'll look away. She'll look at you. You'll look away. <laughs> Suddenly, your eyes will lock. Lull, look, lock. Got it. Right. Okay, now for the approach. You gotta pick a direction, stick with it until... Otherwise, you crash your noses, and you blow the whole mission. That's bad? Ow. Is that good? No. It's bad, bad. <laughs> okay. So you move in slow, stay on course, steady, and we dock. All right. There we go. Now you're ready to go out and kiss with confidence, buddy. Not really. I think you just glued this to my mouth. <laughs> Nice job! He sounds like the beginning to 60 minutes. 
Uh, wh what exactly is the problem? You got corners. Well, we didn't know how else to put the walls together. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Oh, hi again. Just a moment. Simon, it's Lorna again. Make him stop doing that. Could we get a ballpark figure? Sure. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh. Shame on you. It cost me less than that to go to college. Did they teach you how to hang wallpaper in college? No. <laughs> you folks think it over. You can reach me in the JAG. In the JAG. Simon, it's Melissa on my line. Take a message, okay? No, not okay. This is the third time she's called. She wants to know when she can come over here and finish the science project. Oh, like that is the most important thing in the world. <laughs> not that it isn't. <laughs> Wait until you're 16. Okay. Okay. And you miss one homework assignment, and you and those lips are grounded. You got it? Got it. Uh, Lorna, I'll have to call you right back, okay? The warden just called lockdown. <laughs> He's been burning up the phone lines, huh? Yeah, I've been taking messages for him for days. Let's see, there was Sarah, Lorna, Jennifer, uh, Debbie with a Y, Tammy with two E's, and a Candy who insists that I dot the I with a heart. So I guess that kiss from Melissa awakened the Harlow face, huh? Oh, please. Please. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst part. Every time she calls, he blows her off. Now, isn't that strange? You know, I always thought Melissa would be his first girlfriend. Ever since kindergarten, when she beamed him with that Lincoln log. Yeah, well, this is the old Simon we're dealing with. This is jumping Johnny Hormone. Yeah. Hey, I'm Silvio. We spoke on the phone. Silvio. Hey, your son sent me up. Good, good. This is my wife, Anne. Hi, so, I'm glad you're here. Uh -huh, our daughter, Tess. <laughs> Hi. And these are our walls. Yep. Oh, beautiful, just beautiful. <laughs> yes, but what about our walls? Yeah, well, I'm prepared to begin immediately. I'll pay close attention to all the fine details. Like the curve in the archway. And the smoothness of this wall. Okay, that's it, honey. Look, I've had tisking and extortion. Now I got, uh, smoothness. The only thing I don't have is the wallpaper done. So if you want new wallpaper, I am going to do it myself. <gasps> no, no, Max, no, please! Please, please! So you live here, right? What sign are you? All right, out of the bedroom. <laughs> yep. Big sale at the hardware store. <laughs> All right, tools. Oh, Max, please don't do this, please. Hey. Remember the birdhouse you built with the little hinge door? The birds got in. But they never got out. <laughs> Have trust, honey. Look, I've, I got the, the tools, I got the instructions, I got, I got books on, on everything. Okay, come on, give me a hand with this stuff, will you? I am the mighty Thor! <laughs> Why do I have a bad feeling about this, huh? Because you're psychic? Yeah, that's it. I'm psychic. Hello? Just a moment, please. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Another phone call for Simon. Simon! You know, I'm having dinner with Sylvia tonight. Oh, honey, do you suppose you could convince him to help Dad? No, I was just bragging. <laughs> Say something. Talk to me. Today? No can do. I'm going to Melissa's party. But maybe I can fit you in between math and gym tomorrow. Right. Later. And who was that? Oh, just Ralph. The kid who used to grab you by the e on you? <laughs> Tess, that was the first grade. We're tight now. Ever since Heather got interested in me, I'm on the A-list. I get invited to all these neat parties. 
Do you pick first for softball? And who, pray tell, is Heather? The most popular girl in the eighth grade. You're in seventh grade. Oh, so that makes you cool? Right. Simon, having a cool girlfriend isn't the same as having the coolest bike in the neighborhood. People's feelings are involved here. I'll get it. So then you'd probably think it'd be a bad idea to invite Heather to Melissa's party. Bad? No, that would be insane. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Hi, Simon. Listen, I know you invited me to Melissa's party. You what? Uh, Heather, this is my sister Tess and my mom. Uh, mom. Hi, Heather. Hi. Anyway, Simon, a bunch of kids in my class asked me to go ice skating with them, and I'd really rather do that than go to the party. Okay. Let me get my skates. Great. My mom's waiting in the class. Okay, I'll meet you up front. Okay. Simon, Simon, you're Simon. mine, Simon. You actually invited her to Melissa's party? Will Dad said that I couldn't go steady, so I figured it'd be okay to see two girls at once. Oh, and how does that justify dumping Melissa to go skating with Heather? Oh, no, Mom, this is a totally non-dumping situation. I'm thinking of Melissa's feelings, like Tess said. See, first I go skating with Heather, and then I drop by Melissa's party alone. It's perfect. <laughs> perfect. I just love guy logic, don't you? Shall we scream? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, well, you know what, Melissa? Why don't I have him call you as soon as he can? All right, honey. Bye-bye. You know, maybe we'd just uh, hang the family portrait over this bubble. Or we could hang Simon. He didn't show up for Melissa's party. He told her he was sick. He what? He told her he was sick. Simon! I'm on the phone! Well, hang it up and get in here, please. Max? Yeah. Max, honey, you have to talk to him, really. Okay, babe. But, really? Uh, yeah, but uh, w would you look up uh, Bubble in, uh, in... Look in that book right there. At the brown one? Yeah. Bubble. Maybe bubble. Uh, out the top, I think. Okay. No, there is no bubble. Uh, try uh, Air Pocket. <laughs> Yeah, air pockets here. Oh, God, it's multiplying. <laughs> what does it say? Yeah, here we go. Air pocket. Uh, avoid at all costs can be very dangerous. What's up? Simon, did you tell Melissa you were sick and couldn't go to her party? Mom, I didn't mean to lie or anything, but I didn't want to hurt her feelings. <sighs> See, I was having so much fun skating with Heather that I lost track of time. Simon? Would you bring the phone over here, son? Okay, now, how do you think Melissa's going to feel when she gets to school tomorrow and she finds out that instead of going to her party, you went skating with Heather? I didn't think that far ahead. Maybe I could call her and explain everything. Good, honey. That's certainly better than her finding out third hand. The hi, Melissa. <laughs> Uh, listen, I need to talk to you. Really? Would you like to? Okay. All right. Bye. This is great. She's going to come over. Now I can apologize to her and give her a present. Oh, that's good, Simon. You see, it's always best to tell the truth, honey. You're right. I'm glad I called. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Honey, I am in deep doo-doo here. <laughs> Would you go downstairs and get me a rolling pin? Excuse me, Max. You have $9,000 worth of tools here. I'm not going to let you destroy my rolling pin. Okay, uh, just hand me the sledgehammer. <laughs> I'll get my rolling pin. Ah, uh, containment, containment. Hi, Simon. Heather, uh, what are you doing here? You invited me over to play bumper pool yesterday. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah, I did, huh? Uh, well, here's our bump pool table, and... Whoa! Somebody sunk all the balls. Well, game's over. Sorry, Hi, man. Ooh, Heather! Heather, dear, what are you doing here? Why is everyone asking me that? Oh, just surprised, that's all. Um, I need to talk to you. Yes, you do. 
Heather, honey, I have an idea. Why don't you run into the kitchen and have some cookies? Simon's brother Jake is out he there. He is? Mm -hmm. I saw his band play once. I've always wanted to meet him. Oh, well, lucky, lucky, lucky. Now's your chance. And you don't even have to have your hands stamped. Thanks. Go on. <laughs> Mom, what? Melissa's on her way over, and if she sees Heather, she won't ever speak to me again. You have to help me. Simon? Danny, bring me some cookies with a rolling pin, okay? I'm sorry, and I can't let go of this wall. Well, try, Max. They did it in Berlin. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you what, Simon. Why don't you call Melissa and see if you can head her off at the pass, okay? Good idea. Oh, Mom, will you still head the one I called, please? All right, Simon. But as soon as you get this straightened out, you, your hormones, and I are going to have a little chit-chat. Hmm? Jake. Such a wonderful name. So exotic. Thanks. <laughs> My cousin Mimi, she talks about you all the time. She thinks you're really hot. Thank her for me. <laughs> Mom, Heather, Mom! Mom. Want to come to the garbage disposal with me? Um, could you spread that for me? Sure. Thank you. What? I don't want this to upset Simon, but I think she has a crush on me. Oh, don't be silly. She doesn't have a crush on you. She likes Simon. She laughs at everything I said. Watch. Heather. Smooth peanut butter, huh? <laughs> Mom, come here, quick! Oh, just, just stall her for me for just a second, please. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mrs. Mother said that she's on her way. Well... Oh, great. That's probably her. Look, I know I screwed up, but you have to help me. Well, Simon... No, I promise I'll straighten everything out, but you have to help me through this. Well, Simon... Simon, I thought it might make him feel better. Well, aren't you sweet? Isn't she sweet? <laughs> oh, it's Simon. Oh, no, 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 uh, that's, that's And I wouldn't go in there if I were you. No, she's been sick, very sick, very, very sick, contagious. I thought I heard her laughing. Well, she's a brave girl. Hey, I really need that rolling pin. In a minute! <laughs> Why don't you sit down and have yourself a cookie, huh? You seem nervous. No, no, just chewing. <laughs> Mom. Mom, are you going to help me with my problem yes, or what? Yes, in a second, in a second. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. No, no, you could just ask her to go home. <laughs> oh, this is for your father. What did he do? I guess I should do what Simon does too. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that because Simon is, uh, well, Simon's not here. No, he's running an errand for me, Melissa. Uh, Heather. 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 How are you, Heather? <laughs> Jake? Jake, would you mind keeping Heather company for me? Mrs. Harlow, who's that? That's Tess. <laughs> Your daughter calls you Mrs. Harlow? <laughs> Well, we have a very formal kind of relationship. <laughs> Tess. 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 Yes? Hey, where are you? Quick, you two, get up to my bedroom immediately. God, I love this family. No, no, no. 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 My husband, he has a bubble in the wallpaper, and he needs your help desperately. You'll need that. I'm all right. Oh, go, go, quick, quick, quick. Melissa. Melissa, Melissa, you too, honey. You listen to me, I listen to you. You good girl, you good, good girl. Tess was born in Taiwan. And ever since she was a small Mom, baby. Mom, Mom, I'm sorry, but it's over. Yes, yes it is. Heather, would you come with me for a minute, please, honey? Okay, let's get this all straightened out now. Melissa, meet Heather. Heather, meet Melissa. Simon, come out and meet your fate. <laughs> J.
Jake and I'll be in the kitchen. Ah, uh, Heather, say hi to your cousin Mimi for me. Put a sock in it, Jenny. <laughs> Hyman, I thought you were sick. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, I'd like to know. Look, Heather, I have to be honest with you. I was really happy that you liked me and stuff, because it's a big deal. Save it! I'm in the eighth grade, remember? The only reason I was hanging out with you was because my cousin told me your brother was cute. She was right. Now, I can tell everybody that I made a peanut butter sandwich for Jake Harlow. Oh, wait, Melissa, please. Missing your party was really stupid. And this stuff with Heather. Simon, if you didn't want to come to my party, you didn't have to make up some lame excuse. You. No, let me explain. Simon, it doesn't matter. You know, you used to be a really neat guy. But now you're so busy being popular, you don't have time for your real friend. You okay, Simon? No. Uh... Didn't go real well, huh? Oh, Mom. I think I could talk to Simon alone for a second. Sure, honey. But no more of this Harlow face business, okay? I'm gonna run upstairs and check on Mr. Bubble. <laughs> Simon, I feel like part of this is my fault. Your fault? I'm the one who screwed up. Yeah, well, when we talked before, <laughs> you see, I didn't give you the whole story. Along with your Harlow face comes a certain responsibility. And you just can't treat people in a way that you wouldn't want to be treated yourself. In the end, you both lose out. I don't want to lose Melissa as a friend. I want to let her know how sorry I am that this happened. Tell her exactly what you told me. If you mean it, it will show and she'll respond. But be prepared to take your lumps, buddy. Oh, uh, one more thing about the Harlow face. Huh. How does it look without Harlow teeth? Don't know, but I think you'll find out. <laughs> Simon, it was very nice of you to finish our project all alone. And I figured I owed it to you, since I acted like such a jerk. A big jerk. A big jerk. <laughs> Melissa, I'm really sorry. I really like you. I like you, too. When the eyes lock, that's the sign to begin. Pick a direction. You go right, she'll go left. Moving slowly, gently touching your lips to hers. Mission accomplished. <laughs> While in the sun, wouldn't it be great to get a sunscreen with a built-in moisturizer? A sunscreen and moisturizer combined? Well, you can. With moisturizing sunscreen lotions from the makers of Vaseline Intensive Care. Choose waterproof protection from 2 to 25 plus. To help prevent sun-dried skin while you tan, try Vaseline Intensive Care Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotions. The Pava Free Sun Protection that moisturizes. The allergies start first. Right now my eyes are itching and my nose is plugged and stuffed and there's pain along my sinuses here. Tylenol has something just for you. Tylenol Allergy Sinus. Release allergy symptoms and the sinus problems they can cause. Outstanding. The uh, itchy eyes went away. The uh, pressure in the face is released. Tylenol Allergy Sinus. Allergy relief that goes clear to your sinuses. Here's the new double cheeseburger pizza from Pizza Hut. Check this out. It's heaped with beef topping and cheese. And when I get one for $8.99, I get a second for just four bucks more. So tomorrow's breakfast is already made. Pizza Hut, making it great. Painting? Oh, you got brushes and rollers and sprayers. sprayers. Want to know any more? Ask Ace. Ace Five Star Acrylic Latex House Paint is eight ninety seven a gallon, and this one hundred ten foot outdoor extension cord is eight ninety nine. Ace is the place for me. Hey, this thing works.
The bad news is the week is only half over. The good news is the week is half over. The bad news is a giant frog the size of Cleveland just hopped out of the zoo. The good news is the frog doesn't like television. So stay close to your set and get ready for Jake and the Fat Man next on CBS.